Hello, the objective of this video is to learn how to use the simple interest formula, the I equals PRT. But first, let's take a moment to talk about some vocabulary that will be involved here. Interest. Interest is the amount of money paid or earned for the use of money. If you are putting money into a bank account, you're going to be earning interest. If you are the banker, though, you're paying interest on that same thing. So there's two sides to that story. The principal. Principal is the amount of money invested or borrowed. It's the initial amount. The initial invested, the initial borrowed. You could call it you know, that. When you're talking about financing the entire price of something, you may even think of it as the price you're paying without the actual interest, the initial price. Simple interest. Simple interest is interest that is paid only on the initial principal of the savings account or loan. Whereas compound interest is interest paid on the initial principal and on previous interest. Where if you earn $10 this month and then you get you know, next month's interest, you're going to be earning interest on the principal plus you're earning interest on that $10 that's been sitting there for a month. That would be compound interest. But we're going to focus in on simple interest. This is the formula for simple interest. I equals PRT, where I is the simple interest in money. It is not uh, going to be a percent there. That is the I on this side is the interest in money. The P is the principal, again, in money. And it can be called the price or the deposit, initial deposit, but it is definitely a money number. R is equal to interest rate. Different from simple interest, the interest rate is the percent that you are earning the interest at. And in our cases, we're looking at annual. So we're always going to have the interest rate as an annual interest rate. And it's going to be percent as a decimal, which means if they give you the number with the percent sign on it, you have to divide by 100 before plugging it into this formula. T is equal to time. The time for us is always going to be in years in the formula. They may not give you years in your question. You'll have to either convert to years or work with a fraction. Ugh. We'll work with one of those a little bit later here. Find the simple interest. Round your answer to the nearest cent. So here's an example we're going to work with. We have $300 at 7.5% interest for five years. Now, the first number here is the principal, because that's the initial amount either invested or loaned. Well, how do we know which one? Well, in this case, it's not a word problem. They're not telling you which one. As it turns out, it doesn't matter whether it's the money being loaned out or the money being borrowed. Whichever one side you're looking at it, it doesn't matter. Work with it the formula the same way. This is the principal. So the principal goes right after the equal sign because you have I equals PRT. So we have the 300 right after the P for principal. I put it in parentheses because I know I'm going to be multiplying. R is the rate, but this could be the rate as a decimal, which means I need, means I need to move the decimal point over two places which means I'm plugging in at 0 0.075. T is time. In years, there's the time. It's 5. So I plug it in as 5. I start off by multiplying these two front numbers, multiply those two, and I get 22.5. Now it's going to be, still needs to be multiplied by the 5. Multiply it by 5, and I get $112.50. My calculator is not going to have that extra zero in there, but we are talking about money, and there's no such thing as $112.5 there. You have to have the zero for cents. Always show two decimal places with money. Next example. In this example, you'll see that we have two months. They didn't give us the time in years, they gave us the time in months. 
However, the formula requires that the time be put in in years. Well, let's fill in what we know. We don't know the interest is what we're looking for. The principal is that initial starting of $834. The rate, again, we're going to need to divide by 100 here, so we get 0 0.0725. Now the time. For the time, we have two months. But we have to display this in years. Well, how many months are there in a year? There are 12. So we have two out of 12 months. If you put the number of months over 12, that turns into a fraction value of the year. So we've got two twelfths. Don't divide that and make it into a decimal. It's going to end up being repeating, and you don't want to work with that. You want to work with this fraction. Could you simplify it to 1 sixth? Yes, but we're not going to do that in this particular case. All right, here I do the 834 times the 0 .0725, and I'm going to get 60.465. Notice how I didn't drop the 5 here around here. I'm not finished yet, so I want to keep that decimal place for now. I still have the 2 twelfths to worry about. Well, when you multiply a whole number times a fraction, you put the whole number over 1, you do top times top, bottom times bottom. So let's do the top times top first. 60 times the 2, the 60.465 times 2 is going to give me 120.93. 1 times 12 is going to be 12. And I'm going to be dividing by that. Well, instead of writing it as a fraction, I'm just going to write like this, divide by 12. So if you do the whole number times the top and then just divide by the bottom here, you're going to get your answer. 120.93 divided by 12 gives me 10.0775. Which again, since we're talking about money, two decimal places near a cent there. We round this, we get $10.08. That's our final answer for the interest on that one. Here we have a word problem. Many times, interest questions are going to be in word problems. Liana bought a used Ford Mustang for $3,250. The auto dealer had a special interest rate of 4.5% for a 60-month loan. How much interest will Liana be paying? Well, again, we're going to be using that I equals PRT. We're looking for the interest, so that's still our unknown. That stays as I. The principal is the price. What she started with, $3,250. The rate is the 4.5 as a decimal, so it's 0 0.045. And the time is 60 months, right? It's a 60 month loan. So that's 60 over 12. So we do the 3,250 times a 0 .045, and we get 146.25. And we're going to be multiplying by the 60 over 12. Well, I'm looking at that. I know that my 12 times table, I know 12 goes into 60 five times. That's a whole number. It would be a lot easier to work with than a fraction. Can I do that? Sure. 60 divided by 12 is going to give me 5. I work with the 5. I didn't do that with the last one because I was going to get 1 6, which is a repeating decimal. I don't want to work with a repeating decimal. I'd rather work with a fraction. But here, I'd rather work with that whole number. Multiply those together, and you're going to get $731.25. That's how much she's paying in interest altogether. Could I have asked how much the car is going to cost her overall? Yes. To do that, I would add this to the initial price of $3,250. 
So what was a $3,250 car is now close to $4,000 when you add the interest on there. All right, Michael has a savings account that he started five years ago with $300. It now has $325. What is his interest rate? Wait, wait a minute. Weren't all the other questions asking for what the interest is? This time they're asking for interest rate. Can they do that? Yes, they can. And you're still using the same formula. I equals PRT. Fill in what you know. Uh, I don't see the interest in there. I see the principal, what we started with. We started with the 300. So I know I've got 300 here. Uh, I do see, you know, we're looking for the rate, right? So there's no percent there. So we don't know what the rate is. So it stays as an R. The time is five years. Well, that's a problem here. If I don't know what the interest part here is, I've got to have three out of that four to solve this. Well, they gave me another number of 325. That's not the interest. However, that's how much I had after the $300 was sitting there for five years, which means that my interest is going to be the 325 minus the 300. The final minus the original is going to give you the interest earned when you're talking about simple interest. So we have $25 is equal to 300 times R times 5. I'm going to do the 300 times the 5 here because we want to get that R alone to solve this. 300 times 5 is 1500, so I have 1500R equals 25. Then I divide by the 1500 because again I want to get the R alone. And when I do that, I'm going to get 0 0.016 repeating, which as a percent, I multiply it by 100 to find the percent, it's 1.6 repeating percent. Here's the you dudes. Little change up here. Those of you watching the video, write these down, work them out. Those of you who are waiting for class, this is going to be the bell ringer. We're going to go over these three problems in class at the very beginning of class. After, well, probably after the video runs for you guys that didn't do it. All right? So try these. We'll work out the answers in class. Thank you.